Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Yep, so far today? Uh, a couple racks. Um, just had a theft. Someone got their. Someone got their. Car ransacked through. Oh, wow. Copy, 119. Yeah, there's been a lot of. A lot of car break ins, especially up here in the south end, down 11. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll. We'll start down this way towards 11. Just keep our eyes out for anything. Go from there. Try and run some traffic if we can. I don't have a radar yet, so... Mainly looking for defective equipment or um, expired tags. Point on 35. I'm talking with 44. Stand by one. Take us to the stop sign back here. People like to run a good bit. Maybe get a traffic stop. Birdman 124. Are you secure for dispatch? Birdman, any state or county and available for two vehicle accidents, loading and traffic trailer, 12.2 mile marker, Interstate 81 southbound. Okay, as long as that doesn't come to us, we'll, we'll sit back here for a little bit. Birdman, any state or county and available for two vehicle accidents, no injuries, involving a truck and trailer, 12.2 mile marker, Interstate 81 southbound. Birdman, 154. Good. The two vehicle accidents at 12.2 mile marker Interstate 81 southbound. Good. Caller advised she was rear-ended by a tractor and trailer. She's going to be in a silver minivan. They're pulled off to the side of the roadway. That's affirmative. Be aware, we do have another accident at the 11.4 involving a tractor trailer as well with an, uh, a load of lumber dump. Careful. Turn left now. So we got an accident involving a tractor trailer? Yes. It's never fun.
So three vehicles, four, four. Behind this car here, this car here, this car here. This car here. for was those two additional vehicles that didn't even wreck. They were just stopped alongside the road. Four vehicles involved, two of, them, two, of, two of them hit each other, and the other two that we were dispatched to were just people that pulled off the side of the road. Oh, gotcha. So stay tuned. on that, then. Cree provided, has a traffic complaint from July of this year for running a red light break. Right? stuff on 80, 81? Yeah. The, the way it Come works, we run a two-to-one rotation every, every two calls three, goes to three, us, and the third would go to them, and then it just keeps break. cycling back and forth. Yeah. But um, so they they work the same. They have the same jurisdiction as us. Where like us, them, and Martinsburg City Police will all help each other out. But most of the time, Martinsburg City they mainly just stay within the city limits. Yeah. And then where state and us get um, calls throughout the state. And of course, they get calls throughout the state as well. Yep. They kind of handle the slightly bigger picture, and you guys are slightly smaller than the city. Is just I mean, they, they they do the exact same thing as us. They're basically um, there's state units in every single county in West Virginia. Yeah. So um, they're basically just here to assist the county itself. Complaints gotcha. happen to say which business they're just not funded by the, to. by the county. Correct. They're they're funded by the state. Yeah, gotcha. I'm not sure. The level of care that I got at WVU Medicine was top notch. If you're not progressing in healthcare, you're falling behind. It's really an integration, looking at a clinical care network, looking at the good people who can help push the envelope and raise the bar for delivering quality healthcare product. To have my life back is absolutely a blessing. I am beyond thankful for WVU Medicine. I absolutely 100% have my life back.
My sister's a bondsman. Uh, this guy right here. Kenny. So he said his sister's a bondsman. Uh, he pulled up in here to. I gave him three hundred dollars. He said, "All right, well, I'm gonna tell my sister that it's my girlfriend. That way we can bond her out at this price. You know what I mean?" And then he took the. Uh, took the money. He kept like, going in and out the building. And finally, I was like, "Dude." Give me the money back, man, because I'm not going in there without, you know, my money. And then uh, he's like, oh, well, we got to get, uh, so he went and hopped in the car, and then I went to go, like, stop him, and he fucking uh, almost ran over me right there. And he was... You got your ID on it? How'd you meet this guy? Um, uh, one of my friends house who was staying there. And like, uh, I, I, when I went to go visit my friend, like, I, I met up with him. And, uh, just that, that's, uh, he just told you he was a bondsman from no, the No, he, he said his sister was his a bondsman. His sister's a bondsman. Yeah, because I was asking him, I was like, do you know any good bondsmen out here? Uh, I need, like, I need help, you know what I mean? And, uh, because the situation is she's got, a, she's got a card and she was going to make payments and her dad was going to make a payment and I was going to make, like, a down payment. I was just trying to see if he knew any bondsmen that could help work out with that. You know what I mean? Okay. 154 Berkeley, Western Union, 27, 29, 75. It's going to be I India, 232248. What's his name? Kenny? I India two three two two four eight. You know if he's from West Virginia? Uh, 
I know he's got charges out here. I think he said he was dead prison time out here. He went that way. He left his girlfriend at the sheets and then picked her back up. So she wasn't with you whenever. Let's see if they can get any name. I think he might live down this way. Mind filling out a statement for me? Here's this for you. You just want to sign and date the bottom, put all your scriptures, your name, everything like that up top, and then when they write exactly what happened for me. You haven't seen him come back this way, have you? for the other guy. Huh? Yeah, his was good. I guess that's that Arlington Court address. can but like I said all right. yeah like I said we're gonna do everything we can but if we can't locate this guy we're not running on a lot there's a video camera yeah that, that yeah, would just almost, yeah, almost Yeah. Legitimately, like, coming in the car. Okay. Yeah, it's something I'll, I'll definitely look into. Then. So he just dropped you off, and then he... We went, all right, so he took, he got, he got the money. He said, uh, 
All right, I'm gonna have to tell that my sister. So I'm gonna have to tell my sister that uh, that's my girl in there. Uh, so let me get the money that way I can tell her that it's my girl and uh, she'll wind her up for that price because uh, she won't do it for nobody else. You know what I mean? Blah blah blah. And uh, he had the money and then he went in and then he came back out and then he came in and he's like, all right, go in there and talk to her. I was like, bro, I'm, I'm not leaving the money. Like that's yeah, that's all the money I got. Like uh, and he's like, um. Oh, no, no. And then all of a sudden, he's like, all right, well, uh, and then he started going back to the car. I was like, bro, just give me the money. And then he hopped in the car, and, like, I tried to open the door, and he just drove and proceeded to speed off and go that way. How long would you say you've known him? Uh, a times. He's staying, staying. Have you ever met his sister who's supposedly the bondsman? No, but I have heard him talk about her before. I guess her name's Tina. Have you looked her up or anything to see if no, she's man, legit? I'm not, I'm not. Like I said, I mean, future reference, you definitely want to make sure you're giving your money to someone who's legit. Always look up bondsman companies and everything like yeah, that online. I was, I was calling them, but she's on it like a cape here, so it's like really hard to like yeah. get her out, you know what I mean, bond her out. And I was just like. They told you it's going to be 300 bucks to get her out? Well, that's what I had. It was three hundred dollars. You were just gonna make payments. Well, I said, they said it's five thousand, so like the three percent, three percent or something like that. And I was like, this is what I got. Um, and then she's got a, a credit card that we were gonna put on to to make payments, and her dad was gonna help out with some gotcha. some money too. You know what I mean? We're just, well, we, we'll see if we can uh, track this guy down then. But we don't really have a whole lot to go on other than the name he gave us. He walked up in there, put his head in the face in the glass door, like in the, in the desk. Like, you know, you know, where they, you know, so. so he actually went in there? Yeah, once you're finished with that, I'll, I'll go talk to them inside and see if they have any camera footage or anything. So he was actually talking to the people up front then? Yeah, yeah. How long ago was that? I'll see if I can maybe find out what the what he said to him. Because if he's not a bondsman, he doesn't really have any business in there. He'll just sign a date down there too. What's today's date? Today is the thirteenth. 11, 13, 19. And then did you put your contact info on there? Yeah. Alright, so if I'm able to get anything else out of it, I'll, I'll have your information and I'll, I'll get in touch with you. Any questions for me before I go? Uh, uh, I don't know. I feel stupid, but like, I don't know. That's, why, that's the money to get my girl out of jail. I understand that. I mean, ultimately, based upon if I can able to determine there's anything criminal out of it, then we'll go from there. But if not, it's always something you can take into court and civilly sue them for your, the money you lost since it was a civil agreement that you gave them the money. All right, so we're at ERJ. We got a call for a male who said that someone told him that he was a bail bondsman. So he gave him $300 and to get his girlfriend bailed out of jail, but I guess ultimately the guy didn't end up being a bail bondsman. But we're gonna go in here and see if we can get camera footage to maybe get a vehicle description. Probably 15 minutes ago. Yeah. Um, I guess he was maybe pretending to be a bondsman. And he said something like, 
uh, you got to release for Gooch, Tiffany Gooch. And I called back there and see, and he ran off before I could even get an answer for him. And I never saw him again. Okay. Uh, All right. All right. All right. Thank you. So this guy went inside and just asked for the girl and then just kind of took off? Yeah, that's what she's saying. Huh. He's probably just going in there to make it look like to that other guy that he's actually yeah. trying to do something. So it's starting to look a little bit more and more like the guy did legitimately get robbed? Yeah. So, because it was a verbal agreement, is he able to have some sort of discourse there to kind of get his money back? That's something he can take him to civil court for and civilly sue him for his money back since there was that agreement there. Let's see if this guy's still sitting here. Nope. No, he took off a walk that way. He said he lived down the road. So is there now not a lot you can hold not a whole lot you can do with that situation? I mean, it's to me it seems more civil. I'll have to look into it. I'm definitely gonna investigate it a little bit further. Yeah. Um to see if I'd like to get that other person's side of the story as well. Mm -hmm. But um, supposedly he does have an address back back the same way we were coming from, so more than likely tomorrow I'm going to try and go talk to him about it. But today he said that he went this way, so I'm not sure he's not in his house right now. I definitely like to get a statement from that other guy as well, so I can have both sides of the story. One fifty four guys. You can just notate in the cab that I'm gonna attempt to follow up with that record subject tomorrow. Copy one fifty four guys. You can go ahead and clear all units for now. Ten ninety eight. Copy one fifty four. With four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states, Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons' goal of financing for all, and Parsons' famous above-market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one for used cars, too. See why so many won't buy anywhere but Parsons Ford in Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. Alright, well, I'm in Martinsburg. Start medics and they're probably get there before I will see if they come up with. So we'll go back down to um, Inwood, where I was trying to take us before. Personal 141. It's usually heavy traffic area and everything, so. The we'll tank number provided by the caller is really back to the back record. Stop sign that we were at. Uh, people like the one we were at for like half a second. Yeah. People like to run in a good bit. Yeah, I can see that why that one gets run pretty easily, or pretty often. Yeah, it's not a main road, so people just think they can blow through it. As long as no calls are coming out, we can sit here for a couple minutes, see if we can try and get some stops here. Signal 19. 
Go ahead. We turn on the first street, West Virginia 282, Papa Romeo 679. Should be displayed on a red explorer. One occupant. Still on first street. 10 4 right off to Ellinger. Are you armed up in Morrison Burke County Sheriff's Office? The reason I stopped today is he flew that stuff. Yeah, I know. Uh, I, I was exactly like, I'm late for work. I'm about to be late. Like, shit, shit, shit. That's exactly what I said. I said, why did you flew that fucking stuff? And I was like, oh, man, really? Uh, I just need your license registration for the insurance. Where are y'all headed? Back to the house. Back to the house. You have an updated insurance? It's the on that one. Alright, so you're good for that one. Registration's good. Alright, just sit tight, I'm running your ID, everything comes back up. Back right now. Just waiting on them to get his information back. His registration insurance was valid, so as long as he didn't have any warrants and his license comes back good, we'll probably just give him a warning. I guess they were just in a hurry to get home, is what he was saying? Yeah, that's what it sounded like. It sounded like they lived like, like just up here a yeah, little bit. just up the road. Alright, everything came back good, so I'm I'm just gonna give you a warning. All right, just sorry about just that, make man. sure you stop on that road. There, there's been a lot of complaints yeah. there, and yeah. kids like to play outside. No. I just don't want to see you or anyone else get hurt. Yeah, one time I never, obviously. usually I never speak to that. Yeah. And then the one time I'm about to be late to work, I'm like, ah, I'm I'm hurry up. Charlie Hotel Alpha 5927. Are you, ma'am? I'm definitely more directly can't share yourself. The reason I stopped you today is that stop sign back there. I'm going the second one I blame myself on. Right before this last one. Right before this last one. <laughs> I just need your license registration for furniture. Um, this is a rental, so I'll just pick it up. Where are you coming from? Marcusburg. You just headed home, or? Yeah, I just left a couple miles down the road. They give you any paperwork for it, or? Well, I'm assuming it's in the mailbox. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Alpha 0528255. Foxtrot 0528255.
And what else you got? I'm not gonna make you dig for that, just as long as it, it has insurance and registration. I'm just gonna wait for your uh, license to come back. Okay. All right. Suspensions or revocations. Warrants negative. So once they confirm that. Your answer to the 154 you clear for your information. God with it. At Foxtrot 052855, coming back to Rebecca and Louise. Bunker Hill, West Virginia Break. God. Valid operator, zero points, expiration 7 2020. NCSC warrant check appears negative. 10 4, touch off. 10 4. came back good just make sure you stop with those from here on out um, we get a lot of complaints about that stuff so we kids running everything up for school uh, so okay. just want to make sure okay everything's good there thank you so much all right you have a good rest you of your day too. all participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law viewer discretion is advised